Hey students of Wake County, I'm Mike Young. I'm the owner and director of performance at Athletic Lab Sports Performance Training Center in Morrisville. I absolutely love what I do. I wear a lot of hats, but I guess if you were to distill what I do down to just one thing, you could call me a human performance specialist. If you like sports and science, this might be the job for you. If you like the thought of being able to wear shorts, sneakers, and a t-shirt to work every day, this might be the job for you. If you like meeting insanely cool people and helping them achieve their dreams, look no further. In fact, while I love wearing sneakers to work every day, helping people live their best lives and chase their dreams is the absolute best part of my job. In some ways, I wear quite a few proverbial hats. As a human performance specialist, you could probably distill my job into three primary roles. My typical day consists of a balance of educating athletes, coaches, and teams, applied sports science for companies and sports teams, and sports performance coaching for athletes and teams. While each of these are pretty cool in their own, I get to do all of them and I'm lucky enough to be passionate about all three. As an educator, I teach other coaches and consult with some of the biggest organizations and teams around the world on how to reduce sports injuries and improve athletic performance. The things I get asked to speak about the most are developing sprinting speed, the science and planning of training to maximize results, and how to train athletes to become more strong and powerful. Being a coaching educator has allowed me to travel the world and to share my knowledge and experience with others. I typically visit about 15 to 20 countries each year, meeting new people and working with amazing athletes and coaches. Like much of what I do, education is a very fulfilling role. I've always been taught that if you have something of value, you should share it. And there's nothing more rewarding than sharing useful information. Working in this capacity has allowed me to be a teacher without working in a high school or a college. It's kind of cool for me because I get to do the part that I like, teaching, without doing the things that I'm less interested in, like grading papers or disciplining bad students. As an applied sports scientist, I get to apply various fields of sports science to help athletes perform better. In this role, I test new sports technology before it ever goes to market in a process called validation or beta testing. More importantly though, I work with athletes and teams and provide them and their coaches data to improve their performance. This is a pretty broad area, but some of the tools I use include force platforms, laser timing lights, accelerometers, gyroscopes, GPS trackers, and heart rate trackers. Force platforms tell you how much force an athlete is putting into the ground. Laser timing lights are used for timing things like sprints and change of direction. The accelerometers and gyroscopes that I use are somewhat similar to what you probably have in your phone or tablet. In your phone or tablet, they do things like rotate the screen when you turn it. I use that same technology to track whole body parts or objects like a barbell in space or time. They allow me to tell how fast body parts or an object are moving. With my pro and youth soccer clubs, I use GPS tracking and heart rate tracking. You're all probably familiar with GPS as it's used for directions and navigation in the systems of in many cars of today. Well, I use GPS to determine things like how far a player runs, how fast they run, and how many times they change direction. I use these both in practice and in games. I use heart rate tracking to tell me how hard an athlete is working and whether I need to give them more rest or work them harder. Most of the time, this sports science work occurs behind the scenes, quietly supporting athletes. But I have had the chance to be on ESPN and other shows a couple times and have even been in multiple publications like the New York Times sharing information on top level athletes. As a coach, I train athletes to be ready for their sports. I help them get stronger, faster, and more powerful. I work with athletes both in the weight room and doing conditioning and speed work on the track and on the field and court. 
part of the reason the best athletes look so superhuman when they're jumping, sprinting, catching, kicking, and throwing is because they're supported by individuals like me. I coach pro athletes every day for several hours. Over the years, I've worked with pro athletes from every major sport, as well as some crazy ones like American Ninja Warrior, X Games BMX riders, even bobsledders. I currently coach about 15 track and field athletes who are training to compete at the Olympics or World Championships. This was my primary sport when I was younger, so I love the opportunity to still work in it. I also train about half dozen NBA players, and I'm the performance director for the North Carolina Courage and the North Carolina Football Club. These are the pro teams that are local to the area. In this role, I've been able to work with and be a part of one of the winningest women's soccer teams in North American soccer history. As you can see, as a sports performance coach, I get to train some truly outstanding people. I've been lucky enough to have coached more than 20 Olympians, six World Cup champions, three MLS champions, even a couple Super Bowl and World Series champions. In some cases, I can even call a couple of these great athletes my friends. So how did I get to this point? I think it started because I was an athlete. I loved sports. I played football, basketball, and ran track. I was really also interested in science. What I do kind of combines these two passions. I was in school for what most would consider a long time. I earned a bachelor's degree in exercise physiology. This is the study of how your body works and responds and adapts to exercise. I then went on to get a master's degree in coaching science. This is the study of coaching and how to do it more effectively. Then I finished my schooling with a PhD in a science called biomechanics. This is basically the application of the science of physics to the human body or human movement. I've also earned several different strength and conditioning and sports science certifications along the way. After I left school, most of my peers ended up becoming researchers or college professors. But I wanted to work with athletes. Again, I loved sports. So I went into coaching and immediately started coaching at colleges. I coached at three universities as a track and field coach or as a strength and conditioning coach before I ever opened Athletic Lab. This gave me the experience that I needed to match my education. And even after I opened Athletic Lab, I've taken jobs working for different universities and professional teams as a performance director, where I've been able to continue to learn and gain experience. Beyond the education and the experience, you have to be willing to be flexible and think fast if you're gonna work in this field. The job, especially working in high performance sport, is often quick to change and you have to be able to adapt and adjust. Also, your days and hours of work are anything but predictable. I've gone months at a time working six, sometimes even seven days a week. I regularly have to process sports science data or make training plans on very short notice. It's not too uncommon, in fact, for a team I work with to finish a game at 11 p.m. at night and I'm then expected to produce the GPS and heart rate data report from the game, which can take as long as three hours, before 8 a.m. the next morning. Generally speaking, you'll want to acquire at least a bachelor's degree and possibly a master's degree in a sports science related field like kinesiology, exercise physiology, physical education, or maybe even biomechanics. Some people enter the fields from related areas like athletic training, kinesiologists, physical therapists, or even strength and conditioning coaches. Then there are several certifications for sports science and strength and conditioning, which you'll pretty much have to have if you're gonna work in this field. As for work experience, you'll probably need to start an internship or a lowly paid, lower profile position for at least a year or two. Many people start by working in related fields like personal training or physical education. You can actually do this while you're still in school and get a jump on things. Ideally, you should find yourself a good mentor who can both pass on what they know as well as help you with connections in the field. It takes a couple years to get established in the field, but a good mentor or two will really help. The pay for this position varies pretty wildly. 
I'd guess the average salary is going to be around 80,000 per year. That said, there are people who do what I do for next to nothing. And they do this because the job is so rewarding. On the other end of the spectrum, there are people working in collegiate and pro sport settings who are making over half a million dollars per year. This is definitely the minority, but it certainly is possible. As I said, I love what I do as a human performance specialist. I honestly think it has to be one of the best jobs in the world. Imagine helping people live their best lives, chase their dreams. That's what I do. I've helped people make the varsity team, overcome injuries, even win world championships, world cups, and Olympic medals. Along the way, my job has allowed me to travel the world. I've worked with some truly amazing people, and I've coached many of the athletes that you watch on TV. It's incredibly fulfilling to help someone achieve their dreams. Even better doing it when you can pursue your own passion. Which leads me to my close. Even if being a human performance specialist doesn't sound like your thing, that's all right. But figure out what you are passionate about. Find a way to make a living doing that. If you love what you do for a living, you'll never work a day of your life.